All right, so uh, this is Shane Monroe with uh, Green Robot Gamer. Shield Zone, we're going to be looking at a side-loaded version of Pac-Man Championship Edition DX on the Shield Android TV. It works fine uh, on every other platform. This had to be side-loaded because it did not say it was compatible. Let's just see how well it works. Helps if I actually select the right icon. This is great on the PC. Let's hope that it's just as great here on the Shield Android TV. Full controller support. It's hooked into my cloud, so my cloud stuff is there, ready to go. We can shift visuals. There's the original Pac-Man DX. Here we have like a little Ms. Pac-Man. I'm not sure what that is. Ah, Pac-Man arranged. I must say I like the original the best. A couple of different ghost types here, some different graphics. Like that one, music is auto, that's fine. So the idea of this, of course, is to get a certain number of apples. So getting used to this D-pad here. The more of these guys you can get to chase. Uh, crap. I'm out of bombs. I'm dead. All right. Let's try this again. bombs. Oh, no, I did have one. Sweet. But I'm almost out of time. Not gonna happen. Alright, we'll try that one again. I don't like that it doesn't keep the selection you previously made. Sorry, we'll just play it by the defaults here. This game's really about being intimate with your controller. Each side has to be cleared of dots, for those of you who haven't played this before. Before the next apple or whatever will, or whatever will appear. So as soon as I clear these dots off, next apple shows up. That changes the other side of the screen. Bombs blow them up and put them back in their hole for a few seconds. Points mean nothing, so it's pointless to go through this whole bit. What you're really trying to do is just clear the damn thing. Be close. There we go. This seems to work just fine. They need to certify this. What happened there? Just a second. Luck by Championship 2. Hmm. Time trial. Alright, let's go back. Hmm. Did I miss one? Fastest to eat 24 apples. Five minutes. Oh yeah, this is that super slow ass one. Nice and mellow.
So you're really playing against time in this case. What's your own personal best time that you can beat? As you go by those question mark ghosts, the sleeping ghosts, they wake up. It's not really question marks. In point scoring, instead of time challenges, obviously that would be worth more. For now, they're just here to be a pain in the butt. The game's very smooth. It's really just getting used to the controller. Oops. You actually don't want to waste a whole bunch of time eating ghosts, even though it's fun. Bombs do slow down your game speed a little bit, but sometimes you just got to use them. Definitely having trouble getting a certain direction on this controller to behave. Oops. I'll try the stick. No, well, it's no better. You got to really think ahead with this game. Imagine playing this game as a swiping game. I don't know, but hell no. Down, looks like two apples left. Here it is. Woo! There you go. Plays absolutely just fine on the Shield Android TV. Enjoy.